one man lived on the top floor of a brick house in London. Every evening he liked sitting by the fireplace and reading a book. A mouse often came to the flat. She ran to the kitchen where she found some bread and cheese on the shelves. One day the mouse ran to the kitchen, as usual, and saw a woman, who was cleaning there. There was no food on the shelves. The mouse was disappointed. The next day the mouse came to the kitchen again. The woman was there, but there was no food on the shelves, because the woman had put it in the fridge. The next day the mouse saw the same picture. She forgot about that flat and started looking for food outside. When the winter came, it became very difficult for the mouse to find food in the streets. She was hungry and cold. The mouse remembered the flat on the top floor. When she came to the kitchen, she didn't find any food there. Then she ran into the living room and saw the man sitting in his armchair by the fireplace. The mouse came closer to the fireplace to get warm. What are you doing here? asked the man. The mouse wanted to tell him how hungry and cold she was, but the man didn't understand her language. He stood up and went to the kitchen to cook some dinner. The mouse followed him. Oh, it was a wonderful dinner, bread and cheese. The mouse wanted to tell the man that she was starving, but he did not understand her language. The man was kind, he looked at the mouse, and gave her some bread and cheese. She was very happy and wanted to thank the man. But how? He didn't understand the mouse's language. She remembered that in the cellar, she saw some beautiful green paper. And she decided to bring it to the man. When she put the paper into his hands, the man cried. Where did you get it? It was a $100 note. The mouse wanted to tell him, that there is a lot of green paper in the cellar. But the man didn't understand the mouse's language. The mouse was happy that the man liked the green paper. Every day she brought the paper to the man, and he gave her a lot of bread and cheese. And they lived happily ever after.